I'm asked all the time, is this protectable? Is this a trademark? Or how do I make a strong trademark? Well, there's actually a spectrum of different types of trademarks, from very strong ones to rather weak ones, to actually unprotectable ones. So a generic term is unprotectable. If I opened a brand new hotel and I called it hotel, I can't stop anybody else from using that word, obviously. I can't register and protect the word hotel for hotels. If I called it um, suburban inns, I might be able to protect that, but it's going to be rather weak because it's a descriptive. It is an inn, and it's in the suburbs. So that's a very descriptive name. It's not very creative. To the extent I could protect it, if it was unique, it would be relatively thin protection. Just last night, I was staying at a hotel here called the Aloft. That's a creative name. It doesn't immediately tell you anything about it, but it's suggestive of, um, you know, of being higher, of being better, of being creative and funky. And so that is a strong trademark. That is uh, what we call an arbitrary word or a suggestive trademark. Another example is the word apple, of course, is a common word. And if I was selling fruits and vegetables, I probably couldn't protect the word apple. But if I was building a computer powerhouse, um, as Steve Jobs did, the word apple is an arbitrary word for computers and has become an iconic brand in their field, of course. So, it, uh, of course, it's... You know, it's, it's, these are examples. It's not easy to have a, a rule as to what is, what is protectable and what is not. And that's why talking to a trademark counselor uh, is very valuable. But the more unique and the more creative your phrase is or your words are, the more protectable they're likely to be.